Hello, everyone. I, I would like to thank the organization for the invitation to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure to participate in the sixth event. I've been participating since the first one at Campinas 2010, and so I'm honored to be here uh, in this sixth event and to talk about uh, the same issue, but uh, uh, with recent de developments we made together with uh, Jordan. So uh, this, this is a joint work with Jordan. Uh, he was my student, and last year we had a one year together working. Uh, he uh, went, uh, earned a scholarship, postdoc scholarship, with uh, me at Jewish Florida. So this is uh, some, some results we developed uh, last year together. So this is uh, my talk uh, in five talks. Uh, we, the main purpose of this talk is to describe the recent developments about the computation of the cellular homology in this context of re real flags uh, when you compute uh, homology groups of the integers, okay? And we show the interplay between topology and combinatorics, how uh, the combinatorics help us to compute the homology groups. And to make things clear, uh, I, use, I choose to present the, the example of the real Grassmannians, which is a very known case. And how the, these examples motivated us to the, the achievement of a new formula, okay? We started to look at the examples and something appeared and uh, then we tried to re derive another formula and uh, my talk is about this uh, discovery. Briefly, we had a theory before. We started to look at the examples, a lot of examples. And from the examples, we go, uh, went back to the theory and developed more theory uh, about the cellular homology, okay? Here is a recent story of this problem about the topology of real flag manifolds. There is a seminal paper of uh, the KV. Uh, which shows intersection between the Morse theory and the, and the theory. But, uh, we, we see there how the Bruja cells are indeed unstable manifolds of a uh, grad flow. So uh, it's a very interesting paper to start uh, this issue. And this, the same ideas were developed uh, before by Cochella Cota in 1995, uh, computing the Morse homology. Uh, it's possible to construct a moss within complex from which we compute the homology groups. It's, a, it's very intricate and uh, delicate, but uh, this is the first paper where there is a formula for computing the homology groups of real flag manifolds, okay? Uh, there is another uh, paper before by Cajun Stento, but with a very different approach using representation theory, okay? Uh, uh, a paper that influenced uh, our work is this uh, of Wigeman, in which uh, there is a cell approach and the cells are parameterized uh, up dimension two. If you want to, to compute the fundamental groups, it's sufficient to have uh, all uh, cells uh, of dimension two. So, uh, but this idea of, parametri of uh, parametrization of the cellular, uh, cellular structure was generalized in uh, my thesis. So uh, with uh, cells in, in, n in n dimension, we get uh, a, a formula to compute the cellular module. And I will speak of, about this formula uh, in the sequence. And in the last years, uh, my work is to apply this construction and this formula to concrete examples, okay? Uh, we know that type A is very, no, very uh, f uh, popular okay, um, in some sense, but uh, if you go to the type B, type C, and other type D uh, vari uh, manifolds, uh, flag manifolds, uh, I 
I start to, to, to try to understand these other uh, cases, okay? And more recently, but, uh, I started with the Grassmannians, which is more easy, more easier. And finally, we, we are also able to go into the general partial flag manifolds, uh, maximal flag manifolds, and so on. Okay, so the last years with Jordan, we are uh, trying to understand these concrete examples uh, besides the type A. Okay, so uh, what is the, theory, the, the first theory developed in, developed in my thesis is we begin with a maximal real flag manifold we denote by F, and we know that we have a cellular structure given by the Schubert cells. It's a consequence of the Burade composition, which uh, gives uh, the flag as a joint union of what we, we call uh, the Bruja cells. Okay, these are the Bruja cells. And they are parameterized by the vial group. Okay? And when you take the closure of these Bruja cells, we uh, get the Schubert cells, and they provide the flag with a cellular structure. When we are computing the homology, we are in interested in, co in computing the boundary map. Okay? So if we, if we have a, a Schubert cell SW, then the boundary map is how we uh, written this cell as a in, uh, linear combination with co integer coefficients uh, over the cells of dimension uh, less than W, okay? And uh, what is the, the, uh, the interesting case uh, when we are uh, the working with real flags? is that uh, when you have difference of dimension one here, may, may occur non-zero coefficients. So this is the point where the real case uh, turns out to be interesting, okay? It, it's, it, it's, uh, in the complex case, since the cells uh, jump uh, uh, by two dimensions, uh, the, the boundary map is always, is always zero. But in the real case, we may have uh, some non-zero coefficients. And uh, they eventually, it's non-zero eventually when we have a covering relation, okay? Uh, w is less than equal to, uh, is comparable to W uh, in the bruja chevalier order, and they, they have difference of length by one, okay? And this is equivalent in, in terms of the reduced decomposition. If, if we start with a reducing the composition of W S1 to Sn, then W prime is obtained by deleting one of these Si's, and the corresponding root it has a, a, the algebra isomorphic to SO2. Okay? To uh, introduce a notation here, when we delete this Si, the first part I will call by V, S1 to Si minus 1, and the remaining part here I will denote by U, S i plus, plus one and so on. So that W prime is V dot U, okay? It will be useful in the sequence. Um, and uh, another interesting thing about this uh, real context uh, is that this coefficient appears as the sum of the degrees of two maps, only two maps. And since the degree is always plus or minus one, uh, we, uh, we conclude that these coefficients are zero or plus minus, minus two, okay? So when you go to the boundary map, uh, here or we have zero, either we have uh, plus minus two, okay? And this, is, uh, this has a beautiful explanation using Morse theory, and for the, uh, who want to know this, I recommend the, to read the, 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 uh, the, the article, the paper that I, uh, that I will talk about this in, in the end, okay? So, there is a formula to compute these coefficients, okay? So I will talk about this now. Uh, we start with this phi of W, which is a sum of the roots of this set, P of W, which is the set of positive roots sent to negative by W to minus one, the inverse of W. There is a formula for these roots, okay? And the length of this set is 
is equal to the length of uh, the cardinality of the set is equal to the length of the permutation. Okay. And uh, um, important proposition is that when you compute uh, if W is covered by W, uh, W prime is covered by the W, we may write W as a uh, product of uh, reflection with respect to this root beta. Okay. Then phi of W minus phi of W prime is equal to a multiple of this root beta. Okay. I put it here as a kappa. And there is a formula for this kappa. It is equal to 1 minus sigma, where sigma is a sum like that. Okay. So what is interesting about, about this kappa is that the coefficient will be depending on, this, on the, the parity of this kappa. Okay. This, the coefficient is plus minus 1, 1 plus minus 1 to the kappa. So that if the kappa is uh, even, this will be plus minus 2. If the kappa is, is odd, this will be 0. Okay? So our, uh, our first interest is to define this kappa, compute this kappa. Okay? And this, it depends on the computation of E of W and phi of W prime which depends on the computation and uh, to know this set of positive rules sent to negative by W minus 1. Okay, so the, let me register this here. So uh, we want to know this kappa because C of W prime is, okay, and this, uh, this kappa Uh, uh, depends on this uh, this uh, this difference, okay? Uh, and for example, in this very simple case, we, if we try, uh, if we start with the A2, it, we it has this young uh, this zinc diagram. Uh, for example, if we want to compute the boundary map over this cell. Okay, we start S1, S2, S1. So this is, will be a uh, linear uh, combination with some coefficients here over these cells. Okay, and what is the coefficient that appear here? So we go, when we go here and make this phi of W minus phi of W prime. So in this case, will be an, uh, uh, one here. So, so it's uh, even uh, odd numbers, so that this will be zero. Okay, this will be zero, and so on. Okay, this is the way we compute these coefficients. So there is a formula, very explicit formula. What is the problem? The problem is to compute this set for a larger examples. And to finish this first part, uh, when you go to the partial flag manifolds, which are projected, uh, there is a projection from the maximal flag to the partial flags, flag. And uh, for uh, a cell here, we know that uh, there are a lot of cells that uh, go to the same cell in the quotient. But uh, among these ones, we may choose it, uh, uh, one which has minimal dimension. So this is the choice we made here uh, and denote this set of W to the theta. Okay? This is the set of minimal representatives of the, these cosets. But uh, the, the way we compute the coefficients are exactly the same. There is no difference when, uh, on, on how we compute these coefficients. So, uh, we, are, uh, we want to, comp to apply this formula to examples, okay? Uh, and uh, as I said before, if you, if you have larger n, you have a lot of information that is not easy to compute uh, those sets P of W and so on. So uh, we, go to the, uh, we, we uh, go to the combinatorics of this divide the group, okay? In type A context, we know that the file group is the 
uh, cement group, okay? Uh, in combinatorics, it's common to denote the permutation by, a, by one line notation, and we, where we see the image of each, uh, uh, each entry, okay? W1, W1, W2, and so on. There's a lot of combinatorics inside the permutation gr group, and what is the contribution of the combinatorics compute homology coefficients? So uh, let, uh, let's answer this question. There's a very intrinsic idea when we work with permutation, this, the idea of inversion, inversion of permutation. Uh, an inversion is a, a, a pair, ij, of positions that has a change of order. Okay, so i is less, is less than j, but the image is greater than the image of w of j. Okay, so this is called an inversion. And we, we, we put that all together and have this set of inversions of w. Okay, what is the first interesting thing about the inversion? Is that uh, the, cardinal, the number of inversions of w, the cardinal of this set, is equal to the, the length of w. Okay, for instance, uh, for if you take this one, for example, three to one, we have three inversions here. Three with two, three with uh, one, and two with one. Say so these three inversions here, and this is equal to the length of W, and so on. This is a first property of the inversion. And the second one is how we, uh, since the, P of W has the same length of the, has cardinal equal to the length of W, uh, this is also true, okay? The cardinality of P of W is, is equal to the cardinality of inversion of W. And the idea is, is to make this bijection between the roots of uh, P of W with the inversions, okay? And if you consider the simple roots in this way, it's, it's the opposite that is common used, but it's only a choice. If you call the, the simple roots by epsilon uh, i plus one minus epsilon i, the positive roots will be uh, with this type. And we denote the root beta ij as epsilon wi minus epsilon wj, okay, for a uh, permutation here. Then we have that Ij is an inversion if and only if this is a positive root sent to negative by W minus 1 since it is, it's, it's true. Okay? So this establishes a bijection between inversion and the set P of W. And here is the point. Okay? If you, in order to compute homology, we need to know this set. Now we can translate this, this data in terms of inversions. Okay? If you have a permutation model. And then this is the point. Uh, when we, comp we, co we need to compute comp uh, uh, the coefficient, we must know this set. And how the bijection of, uh, of P of W with the inversion uh, of W may be used to obtain this kappa, okay? Uh, that is to get the sum of the elements in P of W, okay? Uh, to make things easier, let's go to another example, the gas minus, okay? Because this is and these have the minimal combinatorial complexity, okay, the, the case of the Grassmannians. We denote the Grassmannian by GRKN, okay, this is the real Grassmannian manifolds of type A minus one, so, uh, here, So it's, it's top, uh, of type A, uh, the diagram, Dinkin diagram is A n minus one, okay? And we know that the cells of the Grassmannians are parameterized by the, what we call Grassmannian permutations. What is the property of a Grassmannian permutation? It has a, uh, a break in the order exactly in the position K, okay? The first K positions are ordered and the remaining ones are also ordered. And the, and eventually here in the car position, it uh, has a, uh, a break of order here, okay? And to simplify uh, even more the, thing, uh, uh, the notation, 
instead of, of putting this notation, we, we, we denote a permutation uh, U1 to UK, the first K entries. We put a, a bar here to denote this, this uh, breaking in the order. And in here we start with V1 again, okay? V1, so V n minus K. Okay, we here order here. Uh, it's only a notation, okay, but uh, make thi things easier. And the first question is how we uh, determine the covering relation, okay? So there is a result in the uh, whole group uh, SN, the symmetric group. Uh, Z is a permutation that covers a permutation W in the Bruhar order, if and only if we get Z by W by multiplying at the right by a transposition of A and B, such uh, with A less uh, than B, and such that W of A is less than W uh, of B, and there is no C between A and B, such that the image of C by W is between W of A and W of B. Okay, this is uh, no reason in the combinatorics of the symmetric group. And we uh, make this, uh, we project uh, this result to the Grassmann permutation, and we, we know that uh, W covers W prime in the Bruha order, if and only if there is a position, uh, we know, we say P here, and a position K here, K here, okay? Uh, P here is in the K interval, and K in, is in the I minus K interval, such that this entry is equal to A, and this entry is equal to A minus one, okay? And the result is that the prime is equal in other, uh, uh, in here the I minus one goes to here, okay? And the way, uh, the here goes to the key position here, okay? So W covers W prime, if you don't leave uh, something like that occurs, okay? You have A, A minus one here, and these are changed uh, in this way. We, we, we cannot change here in this part, and we cannot change here in this part. <laughs> there, it must occur, uh, we must change uh, something here in the first k with the remaining n minus k. And, and the values of the permutation must differ only by, by one. Okay, this, is, this characterizes uh, the Bruja, uh, the covering relation over the permutation uh, Grassmannian permutations, okay? So, uh, this is, uh, if I interest in, in understand the inversions, the, the P of W, so we define now the Young diagrams. This is a very combinatorial to, uh, interesting tool to, uh, to parameterize, to understand the set of inversions, okay? So we start here with a permut uh, Grassmannian permutation, and for each uh, of uh, the first k positions, we uh, take the difference between the position. We, we uh, u i minus i, okay. And and uh, the result is that uh, when we, we the first result is that we get a sequence, okay, Incre increasing sequence. Uh, this alpha one to alpha k that is greater than the zero, and the last one is greater is less than n minus k. And since this is true, uh, we can compute the the length of W by summing these alpha i's. Okay. For example, if we start uh, two, four, five, one. Three, six, okay? So uh, here, what is alpha one? Alpha one will be two minus one. Alpha two will be four min minus two. And alpha three will be five minus three, which is also two, okay? And what is the Young diagram? The Young diagram is the diagram uh, when you put this uh, data in, inside the rectangle. In this case, it will be a square of uh, with k, k rows 
and n, uh, n minus k columns. Okay? In this case, it will be three lines and three columns. So here we put the alpha 1. So alpha 1 is equal to 1. Alpha 2 is equal to 2. So two box here and alpha 3, two box here. So this is the Young diagram of this permutation. Okay? And, uh, and all possible uh, diagrams we get here with this property that alpha 1 is less than alpha 2 and so on, uh, corresponding to all cells of the Grassmannians. This parameterizes all, uh, uh, all cells of the Grassmannians. Okay? And the question is how we can uh, understand the covering relations in terms of these diagrams. This is the first question. And the second is how the, is, is it possible to uh, realize the inversions in, in this diagram? So first, uh, we have this, this result. Okay? The covering relation is manifested here by taking the possible corners of this diagram. Okay? So what, what permutations are covered by this one? There is only two. We can remove this box, or we can remove this one. Okay? So these are the two possible uh, permutation covered by this one. For, for example, if we, if we consider this one here, okay? so we have W is 2, 4, 5, one, three, six, and is, this covers this one will be ten, three, two, three, five, one, four, six. And we see that these two numbers are changed, okay? And the corresponding diagram, diagram of this W prime is this one, okay? We have this one covering this one here, okay? This is the first proposition. The second one is how we, uh, how we can find invasions in terms of the diagram, okay? And this is also very interesting. How we proceed? So here we put this, the permutation, okay? In this case, two, four, five, one, three, six. And uh, the diagram of W is this one, okay? One, two, two. Then we uh, consider the label of the, the lines and uh, minus the label of the column and put it in the box, okay? So in this first box, five, epsilon five, minus epsilon one. In this box, epsilon five minus epsilon three. And so, and here there's not a uh, box. And so on. Here it's epsilon four minus epsilon one, epsilon four minus epsilon three, and here epsilon two minus epsilon one. Okay? These are the, uh, this corresponds to the set P of W for this W. Okay? And finally, when we interested to compute homology, uh, we must compute this difference, okay? That translated in terms of this in, the invasion of W, we must compute all roots here minus the sum of all roots of the uh, W prime. So keep, uh, keeping this example, if you go to W prime, which has this diagram, okay? Here we have two, but uh, three is changed with four here, okay? So five and one, okay? Then we put the inversions here now, according to this, this row. So here we have the same one, okay? Epsilon five minus epsilon one, so here is equal. And here is also equal. What's the difference? Here we have a difference, so here is, will be epsilon 3 minus epsilon 1, and here will be epsilon 5 minus epsilon 4, okay? So 
so this has the p of that prime. And then finally, we take this difference. Okay? So we sum of this uh, is the sum of these uh, roots with minus these roots. But this is equal, this is equal. What is remaining? There is a one uh, there is one root here that was removed, okay? This epsilon 4 minus epsilon 3. And here, epsilon 4 minus epsilon 1 uh, minus epsilon 3 plus epsilon 1. The epsilon 1 uh, cancels out here, and we have another one here. And finally, this one with this one will appear one here. And here, we have no contribution. Okay, so this is an example, okay? But what... Uh, uh, this is, uh, what we have in general is this pattern, okay? Always that we have the corresponding diagram of W, okay? Here's a general situation. And we will remove this box here to get the, the W prime, okay? What is this P, uh, phi of W minus phi of, of W prime is, uh, each of these box contribute with one root. Okay, so uh, the total of this one is equal to alpha of p, and p is the position we, we uh, have the, the change. And these remaining ones, which is uh, the, uh, we have k, k minus p, okay? Uh, so this is the first formula we achieved in terms of the diagrams to compute the homology of Grassmannians, okay? And we, are, we were very happy with this formula because it's beautiful, it has uh, a lot of information here. But in a second moment, we will be served uh, uh, even more that this alpha of, key, of P is equal to, to K, where K is this column where we remove uh, this diagram, this box. But uh, k, minus, k plus uh, q uh, minus p, this is uh, the positions changing in permutation. Uh, let's go, uh, if you go back, w is w prime by, uh, multiplied by the transposition, which is p and k minus, minus plus K. So, uh, the, the, the main proposition is that if you have a covering relation from W to W prime, which is obtained in this way, then the phi of W minus phi of W prime is indeed the, the sub, uh, difference between the position uh, K minus Q uh, minus P, P okay? Uh, and what is important here, it is note that indeed kappa is the difference between the positions changing in the permutation. Okay? This, uh, uh, this shows an, uh, something interesting and different for us. To look in the permutation and, and observe the, different, the positions that are changed. Not only on the diagram, but now we can look only to the permutation uh, and we note the following question. If you, if you multiply by, uh, by left the, with the transposition ij, this changes the values i and j. For example, 2, 4 multiplied by this permutation changes 2 and 4 here. But if you uh, act on the right, at the right, uh, by 2, 4, we, not, we don't change the, the values, but the positions 2 and 4. Okay? So, we have the, the same permutation, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. If you multiply by 2, 4 at the right, we change the second and the fourth entry of this permutation. Okay? So 1, 2 here, okay, change it. And uh, going to the theory, uh, we, we, we begin, begin, begin with uh, writing W uh, obtained by W prime by multipl multiplying with S of beta at the left. But what happens if you consider the same expression, but uh, considering now multiplying by the, the, the right? Okay, this is the motivation question 
we address it. Okay? If the coefficients manifest a change of par of positions and the right action reveals exactly the change of, of positions in the permutation, we start to seek an expression of the coefficients by considering, considering the right action. Okay? So, uh, finally, uh, how... Okay, so, okay, it's... So, uh, uh, going back to the notation I put before, if we, if we have W and W prime, and W prime is written as V dot U, where V is the first one here, and U is the remaining one. Here, uh, I'm writing with R, but uh, sometimes we use S. Uh, and we, uh, may, we may write W and uh, the relation between W and W prime by these two uh, ways. Here by multiplying at the left and here by multiplying at the right. Okay? Beta root is this one. And the gamma root is this one here. U, uh, U two, inverse of U uh, acting on that delta I. Okay? So what happens if you consider this expression now? Uh, let uh, the note alpha wedge by this one, and we know the formula of reflection is given by this way. Okay, so uh, remember that the expression of p of w <laughs> if w is uh, written this way as a product of S1 to Sn, then P of W is given by delta 1, which is the uh, corresponding root of S1. And the second one will be S1 applied over delta 2, and so on. S1, S2 over delta 3, and finally S1, Sn minus 1, applying over delta n. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the root that appears inside P of W, okay? Uh, and the idea was to uh, open this, this expression even more, okay? So, uh, this is a, a simple example, okay? S1 delta 2 will have this expression, but if you go now S1, S2 over delta 3, we have this expression and so on. So uh, what turns out is that you have a, a very combinatorial object here, okay? For example, the coefficient that multiplies delta 1 here, uh, observe, let's go is, uh, slow key here. S1, S2, uh, S2, S3 over delta 4. We have delta 4 here, we have delta 3 here, delta 2 here, and delta 1 here, okay? And the, then the coefficients are certain sum of products of these uh, killing numbers between the corresponding roots here, okay? So the idea was how you can read, write this in general, okay? This kind of expression that appears here as the coefficients. So here, for example, in delta one, uh, we have of length one, here we have this uh, two of length two, and have this one of length three, okay, and so on. So we define this kind of this kind of polynomial, okay. We consider another sequence of roots, delta one to delta m, and given integers between one and m, x and y, we define p of zero x y over these sequence roots as this bracket, where here is the killing number, uh, the killing form, uh, and which is, we take here the product of the x co-root with the y root that appears in this sequence, okay? And in general, for each L between zero and I, uh, 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 y minus x, we define this, this product, the sum of all possible choices, L opus, opus between x and y, and with this, uh, the product of these L brackets here, okay? This is uh, mirroring what happened here, okay? And f 
we get this first proposition. Uh, with this notation, we get that the expression of these roots may be written in terms of these kind of polynomials. Okay. And now we apply this to the coefficient of, of the homology. Okay. So uh, remember that the phi of W is given by this formula. And uh, this sigma that which is uh, give the kappa one minus sigma one min minus sigma is the kappa is the sum over the roots delta i with delta where delta belongs to another p of u okay this p now uh, has to do with this u which is the remaining part of the w prime at the right okay so uh, since we have a formula to the of the elements in, in this set this formula here then we may apply now and compute. It's a computation, calculation. Okay. And then first we have this coefficient may be written this way. And finally we we, we obtain this corollary, corollary, which is which gives kappa uh, in terms of these polynomials. Okay. So this is very interesting because this is uh, an, an expression very uh, explicit expression for this these coefficients. Uh, in, in, uh, no, no, it's, it's general. This is general. This is general. For, uh, here, uh, furthermore, here we, we don't, uh, we don't need to even, uh, retire the dimension here, the multiplicity of the, the algae space. This is very general. For whole examples. For all general flags. General flags. Okay. This is general. We here, till this moment, we didn't choose any the algebra, anything. It's general, okay? Now, now if we um, uh, go in, into the, this expression, and with some choice now, we, we, we get some information. So this theorem that I, um, I'm announcing now, uh, we will choose G is a p-speed uh, normal form, okay? And we suppose also that the Cartan matrix is symmetric. Okay, we, we, we exclude type B and C, type F and G. Okay. Uh, before, uh, if you have a, 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 what is the definition of a H of uh, a root? Is the sum of the coefficients when we write this, uh, the root in, in terms of the simple roots. Okay, so what? Uh, delta is a root, we may write in, uh, as a linear combination with these coefficients in terms of the simple roots. And the height of this root is the sum of these coefficients. Okay, this is the definition of height of a, a root. So what appears to us uh, with this technique is that this kappa, with this uh, hypothesis, okay, uh, this kappa is exactly the height of the uh, root gamma. That is, the, that, that, that root that appears at multiplying by, uh, at the right here. So this gamma that uh, appears when we write W as a W prime times S gamma, the height of this gamma is giving us this kappa. Okay? And also this is very general. Because these these are very general situation yet, okay. It only excludes the type B and C and G F, okay. This was uh, a hint that was given by San Martin yeah? when we uh, Jordan was uh, talking with him, and he said, "Oh, maybe, maybe there is something relating with the height of the, these roots," and it, uh, he was uh, indicating the the right way to us. This is amazing. It's very simple. It's very simple. Okay. So All the disappeared. Disappeared. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, going back to the example of the Grassmannians. Okay. What what appears here is exactly the root gamma, the height of this root, epsilon k minus um, plus k q minus epsilon p. Okay. So this. This formula here was hidden. Okay, was uh, hiding this this uh, this height of this root. And what is interesting that now we not we don't need to to stay at the minimal situation, the Grassmannian. We can go further to the whole group. So, 
uh, we can amplify the example to the maximum one. Okay, there is no requisition more to to stay at the minimal situation. Okay, then we already know the covering relation in the permutation group. So when when you have this situation of covering relation, the coefficient uh, will be uh, non-zero if only if the change of positions is even. And and, and then Jordan, with his computer, computer, compu computational skills, uh, uh, started to do a lot of computation. And, and because this is very simple to, to say to the computer, OK? This is very simple, this, this, this data. Um, for example, we can go to the S4, OK? 24, uh, 24 cells. We have one zero cell, three one cells, five two cells, six uh, three cells, and so on. Okay, this is the Bruja order of the S4. And then, uh, when the coefficient is not uh, equal to zero, it's only uh, go to this rule. It's only see uh, if the, the difference of the positions change in permutation is even. It's very simple. So, for instance, this. These uh, thicker lines give us the, where the coefficient is equal to plus minus two. Okay, it's very simple. For for example, this one four two three one to this one four one three two. We see that uh, the position changes is the second and the fourth. Four minus two is equals two. Uh, what about the, the sign of the minus two? Yeah, this is the last square. This is uh, I will. Uh, okay. This is the last, <laughs> but uh, this this situation uh, already makes things easier. Okay, so we, so from this situation we start to do, to put the computer to compute uh, uh, the homology. Okay, not not uh, more each coefficient, but now we are asking the whole uh, homology groups. Okay, and in, and then the computer accuses it to us. Uh, Stop. We need to choose, choose, choose well if it is mi minus or, or plus plus two. The computer uh, we first uh, make an aleatory choice of plus minus two, but the computer uh, said, "Oh, stop! Delta uh, to the squared is not zero. This is not not a chain complex. So you you need to to make the correct choice of signs." Then this is another uh, another talk, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, finally, we are, we found the the way to to correct only uh, uh, in, in, uh, in also these these signs when it's plus or minus two. This this has to be very well chosen, okay? And so we we can get this type of uh, tables, okay? Here we have the all possible. Uh, homology for all flags uh, when n is equal to four. Okay, this this table corresponds to this one. Okay, you have a four here. No, yeah, a two, a three, n is equal to four. So the first one here is the maximal flag. A one in a two is uh, we choose a theta. To be a singleton, singleton set, and a two is a set theta is two roots, any anyone to here to here, connected uh, connected diagrams, okay, and the first the last one and when we choose this one, a one with a one, so we have here n equal four, but uh, we are at n equal to nine, n equals nine. Eight or nine, yeah. <laughs> we have these tables of all all flags, the minimal, the maximum, and the all partial flags, because now uh, in this language it's very easy to comp to make the. Jordan knows, I don't know. Jordan knows <laughs> how to make the <laughs> computer comp uh, do the cal calculation. So, so major reference. Uh, about combinatorics, this, there, there is this very nice book of John and Brent, Combinatorics of Coxeter Groups. And uh, my, my, the, the main result of my test that was published on this year. 
uh, with San Martin. We, we, uh, with the first results about cellular homology. And we are uh, this one of the Coachella Cota in 1994, 95. And we have uh, also this article in type B uh, illustrating this Bruja order of the Grassmann permutation of type B. I will talk about this in the last class of the mini course. Okay, so I will talk about this type B case. And and we are preparing, uh, preparing this about the height uh, function, uh, this new formula. Okay, this is our preparation. So thank you for the, uh, your attention. Does it appear some some viral group some some? Uh, 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 the problem is that uh, the isotropy is lower, and uh, it is it some quotient. Is it some? Is it's some quotient? Uh, it's not a, a, a quotient. It's an extension mm. of the viral group. Mm. It's some uh, related to M star, mm. not only M star uh, over the uh. M. Mm. Maybe it's interesting to yes. Okay, uh, to to try to understand did, this this did situation. No, this? no, no. I didn't know this case. Uh, maybe we are trying to to look, for example, to the, the exceptional cases, ah, that, yes. that because this formula applies to this case. So we are now going to uh, we are trying to understand is uh, is six, is seven, and okay. this one. This is one of the first. Uh, the example we are trying to, to lead, but now we can... Yeah, I'm doing this question, but I, I, don't, I don't even know if it's really interesting, because I don't mm. know uh, anything about uh, the topology, homology of yeah. compact group, but maybe it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Because you, uh, you got a, a lot of very nice results, because it's very difficult to compute this mm -hmm. the homology of the yes, yeah. mm -hmm. So maybe... And it's a real so, case. Uh, uh, this isn't the real case, also. No? It's in the real case. Yeah, I, this I, is. I'm yeah. Thinking, uh, about the real case because I think the complex case uh. is so, but maybe I don't know. Yeah, you can give us some reference, and then we may maybe start. Talk. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Okay, more questions. Hmm. Yeah. And the cohomology of real flag manifolds is a very uh, open object, okay, subject, because it's very difficult. There's some results, but uh, there's even to today there, there's not uh, uh, the ring cohomology is not uh, the the ring cohomology is not uh, understood well in the real case. So, and G two is related to the the algebra G two. Yes or not? G2 structure is it related to the, the algebra, the, the Dinkin diagram G2. The, this case for computing homology is, is no. If you want to know, then it's, it's done in the, the paper also. Uh, if you want to know something about G2. But uh, understand the whole co uh, cohomology of real flags is an open question. Okay? So. Yeah. Uh, you can use universal 
Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We did some of these computations for type B and type C, but G2 we, we didn't apply. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we start to talk about these things with Viviana, so, uh, we st but uh, we, we didn't go further, but yes, probably there is a way to explore these things, okay? And there, there is some relationship here, okay? We didn't wrote, no. There is something uh, in, 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 in the Jordan thesis, some... Ah, uh, she wrote. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's a paper of Viviana, recent, uh, yes. Ah, you need over Z2. But, yeah, Z2, uh, indeed, you, you uh, if you go back this in here, is basically go uh, you kill the 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 torsion okay so we kill this z2 okay or the the model we only look to the free part and we are computing these bet numbers also with these tables okay for this example so we are going to into this direction to understand the bet numbers okay in these examples which is the homology uh, over z2 Oh. I mean, the, I'll give some questions. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you.